is a Mexican back road, like a little, um, like if you're headed out to the country, you're not on the main highway. Um, this is what that looks like. Speedy Gonzalez over here doing 100 kilometers. <laughs> doing 100. <laughs> on the freeway. <laughs> it, out of my way. <laughs> so yes, so in the U.S. we would be speeding, but we're driving kilometers. <clears throat> so it's like 40, 50, 60 kilometers. So anyways, yep, and it's 60 kilometers um, per hour. That's the speed limit. So anyways, I wanted to show y'all these little residences. Um, not residences, these little local taverns on the side of the road. Look at this. And whenever you see the C-note, C-E-N-O-T-E, -E, that is a sinkhole. A lot of sinkhole areas. Oh, that's too, going too fast. All right. Yeah, a lot of sinkhole areas. So, um, what was that? A rattlesnake? It looked like a snake, didn't it? Looked like a snake in the road, kind of coiled up like that. Snake in the road. <laughs> Woo! Shad. Okay, I'm telling you, all, all the little cars, everybody has a little car. A lot of people don't have a car. Um, like a lot of the locals, you'll see them, see, riding bicycles, wagons, mopeds. Um, we're walking. I mean, you know, but they're local to this particular region, and um, you know, there's just so much to see and do on any given day. Tulum's tourism is heightened right now. Okay, there's a coconut water, that's what she's looking for. I'm looking for elote, which is um, a Mexican street corn blessing okay let's see how much hi how much are your coconut how much pesos how much 20 okay okay how much is that 51 50 oh thank you do you have change do you have cambio Oh, he got it. Yes, I have 200 pesos. Actually, do you have change? Just one. Uno. Uno. Yes. Okay. They're going to cut it open. Nice. Yeah, we like to spend our money with the locals. Look, why am I whispering? <laughs> we like to spend our money with the local um, people. So that we can, um, you know, put money. He got his little machete. Come on there. Little baby Oya machete. Um, we like to spend our money with local um, individuals that are natives. Versus, um, you know. Versus going to an area that has been, uh, you know recreated like an Americanized. I like the total local experience. That doesn't even look the same as the coconuts that we're used to in the United States. They making them some little money, ain't they, honey? I wish my children would get out here and work like that. <laughs> now, why our kids can't get out here and work like that? Yeah. That'll never happen. Gracias. Here, babe. Oh, Lord. I don't want to touch that coconut. Oh, he said he doesn't have... I thought you said he said he did. Oh. Babe, you can't be drinking them folks' stuff and you don't got change. Man, I'll give you the 200 pesos back. Okay. Gracias. Thank you. Yeah. Bless them with them 200, but I'm going to need mine bite. <laughs> I'm just messing. So that 200 pesos is literally $5. Yeah, I'm Capricorn. Shit. 
five dollars which honestly in the united states that would have been more than five dollars even when we were in um haiti and we had something like that it was more than five dollars so yeah i thought he said he had changed i don't know what they saying i don't speak spanish my wife does so anyways y'all i just wanted to share every time i feel like every time i'm doing a video something like that happens <laughs> anyways all right y'all all right so i'm gonna try to combine these videos so we'll see what's next what's next in tulum oh you know what this is what i wanted to show y'all on the way up but i thought i was filming and i wasn't look at how beautiful i literally would move to another country okay i would literally move to another country i did my research it's like 150 dollars a month to live here look there's a real estate um firm right there it's like 150 dollars us dollars to live here monthly um in a very nice community with like i don't want to say tiny homes but like smaller smaller homes okay so we're back on the block headed back to the house and i'll get some more footage for y'all peace and namaste